Hello sportsmen, what is deer season all about anyway? Well, to some people, shooting a deer is the entire focus. A few people devote all their efforts to getting a deer with a huge rack. But the average sportsman, uh, where they go and who they go with is the most important thing about deer hunting. Now, I'm one of those hunters that values deer camp as much, if not more, than the hunt itself. Stay tuned for a look at our UP deer camp, the way it's done by a group of practical sportsmen. After two days of hunting in the Lower Peninsula, Matt Radzilowski and I packed the camper for a little change in scenery. Seven hours north on I-75 across Mackinac Bridge, west on US-2, finally winding over logging roads somewhere west of Marquette. The last hour of the trip, we saw very few trucks, very few people, very little evidence of people. Following the directions that Gary Graham gave us and using the map wasn't as easy as you might think. Logging roads seemed to branch off in every direction. We didn't see many tire tracks or many deer tracks for that matter. You didn't get us lost, did you? <laughs> no, it was a joint effort. <laughs> I'm keeping us lost. <laughs> we're, we're close. We know we're in the right county, so we got to narrow down. I don't, you're the navigator, man. Well, there's a lot more roads than this map shows up here. <laughs> yeah, they've been they've been busy little beavers up here, <laughs> logging away new roads, and they don't the signage signage is very poor, very poor. Lack uh, of street signs. Lack of street signs, but I tell you, it's it's gorgeous as long as the hills don't get too much steeper and the snow doesn't get too much deeper. Because I'll have to drop it into creeper. <laughs> but at least you've got your beeper. <laughs> Hey, it's a long drive. You can get a little goofy at the end of the day when you're not exactly sure where that lake is. The lake. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, Maddie, to your right. Over to the right there. We are home. Home sweet home. We found it. <laughs> well, this is called the 4G's camp because all four guys' last names begin with G fires are burning. Now it kind of concerns me there's just one vehicle here. Now there's two. But we are here. The upper peninsula of Michigan has lots of land that looks like this. Trees, beaver ponds, trout streams. Now oh, it's beautiful country. But there aren't many people or stores or gas stations once you get off the main highways. The 4G's camp is truly remote. It's a 45-minute drive to civilization, and that's if the weather and the roads are good. It's also quite a hike back to the deer blinds through the swamps and canyons. So why'd you pick uh, this spot for his hunt, Gary? Oh, because the deer have been coming in off the, through the canyon line there, and uh, we got them coming in on the bait, and I'm hoping like hell or something comes in. Huh, you guys been seeing many deer up here? No, it's been scarce this year been real scarce after the winters of uh, 95 and 96 you know it just took a lot of them out but there's some big ones around here and that's what we're hoping to see the upper peninsula produces a few big bucks but not a lot trophy bucks aren't really why hunters go through everything they have to go through to camp and hunt up here not all hunters like this kind of remoteness aloneness but a few hunters do Instead of traffic sounds and airplanes overhead, you hear the streams gurgling all day long. The country can be rugged. You have to be in shape to walk it. But at the end of the day, you return to camp where it's warm and friendly and there are people inside, your buddies, guys you enjoy being with, playing cards, throwing darts. The four Gs stayed in their mobile cabin, something we'll show you in a future program, Matt and I stayed in the truck camper. Now, for us, it didn't turn out to be trophy buck heaven. In fact, I only saw two deer during the three days we were there. But this was deer camp at its best. It was a different world, one of beauty and anticipation and wonder. The beavers work the hardest up in this country. The rest of us just enjoy what they create. The first week of deer season 
in lower Michigan it rained. Up here, it snowed, and that by itself was very cool. <laughs>